Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our last review, we checked out the Sega Astro City Mini V. Compared to the competition, we felt it had high input latency, and today, using Simple Bath, we're going to figure out how bad. Right here, you can see the delay between the click and the movement on screen. So, what we'll do is measure that. In the video editor, we'll find the click of the micro switch. There it is, there. Then we'll press right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now the ship has changed to its move animation. Our first sample is nine frames of delay. Let's get a few more samples. So for the second sample, it's 10 frames of delay. Now for the third. That's nine frames of delay. We can take the average and work out that this system has 155 milliseconds of delay. To put that into perspective, we should compare it to the other arcade minis. Here's the Astro City Mini, and for our samples, we'll use Fantasy Zone. There's the first click. Seven frames. Seven again. And the last sample, eight. With an average of 7.3, we have 122 milliseconds of delay. Noticeably quicker. So let's now move on to the Taito Egret 2 Mini. This is the main competition of the Mini V, and we can use the same game. Let's find the first click. One, two, three, four, five, six. At 117 milliseconds of delay, it is quicker than the Mini V, but slightly inconsistent. For the next machine, it's the Neo Geo Mini. We'll use the buttons this time for the click sound, as the joystick does not click. That works out at 83 milliseconds of delay. That's the quickest so far. Next up, the Power Kitty A12. It's running RetroArch. Overlap the extras like Run Ahead, Turn to Off. At 88 miles an hour, we can go back in time and play Galaga. This is a My Arcade machine, and it runs on four double A's. This one gets 56 milliseconds of delay. And how about we look at its smaller brother? This one's also a vertical arcade machine, and it runs on three AAA batteries. Seventy-eight milliseconds of delay, but it's not the arcade version, so who cares? Last up is the Miu Mini V2. We've recently had this on the channel, and it's a joy to play. Let's check it out. So even with options like Run Ahead set to off, this little handheld decimates Sega's Mini V. If Sega are asking a premium for their device, we should expect it to be at least playable. If your main attraction are vertical shooters, low latency is a must. 
any extras like integer scaling would just be perfect. As a consumer, if we continue to ignore issues like this, manufacturers will carry on to produce trash. This has been Emi Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Your method didn't sound very scientific. Beverly's method gets much faster results. Stick, stick, stick.